Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Robel and today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D saber effect wrapped up in the hand. Uh, and I'm going to do this using After Effects. I have included all the project file and all the assets I used in this uh, tutorial on my Patreon. You can get it for free, but also if you want to support this channel, you can subscribe. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. gets me off the dog. None of my peers got apply no pressure. VIO then I'm on that bar. Disrespect here we have our clip and uh, it's just me uh, with my hand and the first thing we're going to do is uh, just track this clip so make sure you're you're on the full resolution and then after you're in the full resolution just go to your effects and add mock and let's track it using mocha and press on the mocha logo and it will open the mocha panel okay so here i'm going to select the spline tool and just select the areas where my hand is moving so just select roughly something like this and also you can adjust it to your liking something like this would be fine and also you can also define your surface to make the tracking more effective and precise so something like this you can check your surface looks good so i'm going to track forward here so just press track forward and I'll meet you guys after the tracking is done. Okay, now our tracking is done. And so we're just going to file a single project. And after that, I'm going to close off the Mocha AE. And if we go to our tracking data, we can see where it's tracked. So I'm going to create a new layer, right click and select new object and rename this to a tracking data. And after that, go to your clip again and then create a track data and create track data and then go to under export option the transform and then and the layer export to to the tracking and then apply exports and if we look here now our checking data have been transferred to this tracking point so that's the main purpose here so here uh, we don't need the mock anymore so i'm going to delete it and also uh, duplicate this layer and then uh, let me rename this to uh, clip and upper one let's rename it to roto because i'm going to rotoscope the hand out from the clip so just select your roto brush here and go to inside your uh, roto uh, layer and then select your hand precisely like this and try to select your finger and using alt i'm going to remove selections selection some parts that i don't want to see like this okay this looks good to me so i'm going to freeze it and i'm going to rotoscope this one out so i'll meet you guys after this rotoscope is done too okay the rotoscope is done too so we can take a look at the rotoscope here our hand is cut and we also have a tracking data so now we can move on to creating the saber effect so the way we're going to do it is go to your project and create a new a composition let's call it um, saber and the height should be the same but the width let's make it to 5000 i want it to be more wide and just press ok here on, on the new composition i'm going to right click and create a solid so i'll create a solid a dark one and i'm going to call this a saber 2 and i uh, press ok here on the solid layer i'm going to create a mask so i'm going to zoom out a little bit maybe somewhere here and using the pen tool you can draw a mask from somewhere here up to here and after you do that and add the saber effect to the layer 2 so add the saber effect and uh, turn off the enable glow and also in the customize core you should change the core type from saber to layer mask so that the saber is aligned to the mask and also in the core distortion i'm going to add some distortion amount like five so that if we zoom in we can check uh, there is some distortion around our saber and after that i'm also going to change the core size to one and a composite setting set the from black to transparent so that it have empty background but for now i just want the background to be black so i'm going to press this one so that we can take a look at the saber itself um this is what we do here okay here on the end offset i'm going to make a keyframe so make a keyframe here and start it from zero 
to let's say 10 frames forward and then make it to 100 and you can actually check the keyframes you make by pressing U. So we can have this gradual effect on the end offset. And uh, after that, I'm going to duplicate this layer uh, several times by Control D, like uh, three times. And uh, if we select all of them by shift clicking and then press U, you can see uh, the keyframes that are made here. So I'm going to adjust them as something like this so that they have a gradual uh, effect when they come. So it will be something like this, but their positions are off and they're on the same position. So I'm going to adjust their position to something like this. So they will have this gradual effect. And also let's duplicate one more time this one. And let's even take this to here. Let's press U to watch the keyframes. So it will be something like this. So we have these lines now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a fill layer, a fill uh, to make, uh, to give it a color. So add a fill to it and change the color to something uh, bluish or like this. And if we take a look at it, it will be something like this. So I'm going to copy this layer and paste it into all of them. So now they have good type of color, something like this. And the next thing we're going to do is on the first layer here, I'm going to make the start size 100 and the end size to zero. But the last one, the last saber effect, we do vice versa to it. We're going to make the end size 100 and the start size zero so that when we add the cylinder effect, it will have, it will be on the opposite direction and they can actually merge with each other. So this is what we did here. And that's it for uh, this saber effect. So we may go to uh, our main composition and in the project, uh, we can add the uh, saber effect. We just created the project here. So we added this saber effect here. And as you can see somewhere here, we can see the lines. And now we're going to add the CC cylinder effect so that it can give the saber effect a 3D look. So if we add the CC cylinder effect, as you can see, it will be wrapped around like this. My footage is a little bit light, so you can't see it. But uh, if you, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see some gaps around uh, the saber effect. Uh, it's because now uh, the masks are not aligned to each other. But if we want to fix this, you can change the mask to something like this and to each of them, and then it can actually fix this. But uh, for now, we don't want to do that because we can actually hide this behind our hand. And so it's not that really necessary here. So I'm going to reduce the radius of the, uh, the cylinder effect and I'm also going to rotate it to the axis, do something like this, and also put it somewhere here. And we can actually put it on the outside part and we can rename this to outside and we can actually attach the saber effect to the tracking data so that it moves together with our hand. And also, yeah, put it something like this. Maybe increase the width, the radius a little bit to something like this. Yeah, this looks good. And also I'm going to add the liquify effect so that we can so that we can so that we can adjust the saber and to make it more wrapped around our hand so i'm going to increase the brush size a little bit more and also the brush pressure something like this and i'm going to bend some of the wire and the, some of the sabers something like this and so this is not that good let's do it again something like this just refine it to make them align with your hand this one too and also this one this one okay and after that so we also going to add some glow to them to the saber effect so just select the outside one and put a glow to it and i'm going to add a deep glow so something like this and you can adjust the glow radius to something more something like this and also the exposure 
something like this and on some of the liquify it's not doing that well so i'm going to adjust it a little bit i'm going to decrease the brush size a little bit something like this and i'm going to yeah something like this okay this looks good i like it and we're going to duplicate this if we actually turn on and off the liquify effect we can see the change so i like this now duplicate the outside layer and rename it to inside and drop it down below the rotoscope layer and change the render mode on the C cylinder to inside and then this will give it a 3D look. Yep. And now the sabers are allied to our, are circling around our hand. If we take a look, you can actually see it. So this is the result, but as you can see, the liquify effect kind of destroyed some of it. So you can take your time on refining uh, these things, but uh, for now, it's just enough for the tutorial so after this what we're going to do is okay now I'm going to duplicate the outside one I'm going to duplicate the outside and also the roto and we name the roto a duplicate to mask and at the outside uh, we can rename it to glow and make the make the glow a track mat to the mask so that we can have uh, the when the light is passing through our hand we need to also light the hand so that's what i'm doing with this glow and mask so i'm going to track mat the glow to the mask so this will create if we separate these uh, layers we can actually check it out so this will be inside our hand so in the glow i'm also going to add a blur to it so a box blur or a fast blur as you call it and then i'm going to increase the blur a little bit to something like this so that when the saber is passing through our passing through our hand it will have a reflection some type of reflection on the hand itself so that's it and also i'm going to copy the fast blur and also paste it on the mask so that our mask is also a little bit blurish and have this good looking reflection. So after that, I think this is done. This looks good. And also we can add a lightning effect on the on the hand. And the way we do that is I found this asset in this lightning asset on the internet and then just download it. And after that, you just put it inside your composition and take it somewhere in the middle like this. And also I'm going to position it in the hand, around the hand. And something rotate it a little bit. We press R, we can rotate it something like this. Yeah, just put it around something like this. And also the scale, I'm going to reduce it. And I'm going to reduce the scale to something like this. So this looks good. And after that, I'm going to change the blend mode to add. And also uh, I'm going to add a fill layer to it so that we can change the color. And in this fill layer, I'm going to change the color to this uh, bluish color we just uh, defined uh, previously. So it will have the same color like this. That looks good. And also I'm going to track matte this uh, lightning effect to the mask so that it doesn't go out of our hand. So this will give it a really nice look. So, some, so it will look good and after that as you can see our footage is also our footage is a little bit also uh, bright so that we can't see the glows that much so we can actually fix this by adding some color adjustments so right click and add adjustment layer to it and in this adjustment layer uh, you can put uh, some lumetri color and we can adjust the colors a little bit so right lumetri color and in this basic correction i'm going to reduce the exposure a little bit of the whole clip because i took this footage on the window so it might not look that good and also a little bit the saturation and the temperature bluish and add some tint to it and a little bit more contrast and also some highlights reduce the highlights and make some shadows too and reduce the whites because on the window there are some lights and also the black so after we do some little bit of adjustment on the color we can put the color below below the glow something like this so 
or maybe up here so that we can watch the glow more so this is some little adjustment colors we add you can add adjustment colors to each of them also but for me it can also work something like this and it will still look good but uh, this is how you can uh, create this saber effect around your hand and that's it oh this is what i have for you today and if you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it make sure to like and subscribe so i'll see you guys in another video so peace out bye